Good day, prospective Ghanaian travelers, and welcome to our monthly update video. I am Bonnie Bentoum, and will be more than happy to guide you through each step as you prepare to go to Ghana, Africa in June of 2018. First, I'd like to share with you a quick video of young ladies who I spoke with at the U.S. Ghana Chamber of Commerce meeting this summer in July. Just listen, only a few moments. Hi, AJ. I'm here for the um, roundtable discussion on Ghana and just fun things that we can bring and share with the rest of the world. Good afternoon, my name is Brianna Moore. I'm also here for the U.S. Ghana Chamber of Commerce. And you young ladies, what would you like to say about Ghana? Are you from Ghana? Were you born here? Were you raised there? Um, and what would you say to young people and their families who are about to venture into Ghana June 2018? I'm actually from South Carolina. I studied abroad in Ghana twice when I was an undergrad at UPenn. Um, the first time I went there was for a month internship program. I loved it so much. I went back and studied abroad there at University of Ghana Lake Long for six months. Um, I would encourage any of you to go to Ghana. Um, the people are so hospitable. You learn a lot about your culture, especially as an African American. I always had like a really big curiosity and a um, big interest in Africa, West Africa specifically, where I believe my interests came from. So I just wanted to go back and learn about it firsthand. And um, I had an awesome time. It led to uh, business opportunities and just meeting great people who I'm still friends with to this day. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. My name, uh, well, I'm from Ghana. I was uh, born here and moved back uh, for some short time, got to be exposed to the culture. And I, but one thing I love about it is our smiles and how, you know, connected we are to the, whether it's the music, the fashion, the culture, the food. There are a lot of similarities in the way we look and how we express ourselves in America versus being in Ghana. So I just really wanted, you know, to share that with you and let you know that, you know, the, a lot more similarities than there are differences, and we should just explore that. That's one thing that I said. I said the <laughs> ancestors have continued to whisper in oh, our ears. Oh, in our ears. With not, to our dances, knowledge, but even but everything. Knowing, yeah, so even much. down to the handshake mm -hmm. with the snap of okay, the exactly. finger. Okay, finger. Yeah, and that's all we do in That's all we do. That's all. Now, <laughs> Hi, hi everybody. My name is Linda Hussey. My um, Ghanaian name is Nana Echa Akusia Hussey. And then um, I would love you guys to visit Ghana. I think it's an amazing place to be at. I grew up there and I've been in this country for seven years. The food, the culture, the people, there's nothing that's black or white. We are one people. When you want to like have an experience of Ghana, as far as of Africa, I think that is the right place to be at. Yes, you're just going to love it. And, um, I hope you make it there. Thank you very much. So there is a little information for you about Ghana, Africa. So hopefully uh, their talk to you will help you make your final decisions because we are coming down to having to have our first deposit. Knowing initially that we spoke about having a deposit in May of last year and people really not deciding whether or not they actually wanted to go, well now is the time to make your deposit. The deadline for prospective travelers who would like to go to Ghana to make this $50 non-depositable, a uh, non-refundable, excuse me, deposit is by Wednesday, September 27th. You can turn in cash or a money order, and money orders must be made payable to SLA at Bieber. So that's a $50 deposit. It is non-refundable. And if you are paying with money order, it must be made payable to SLA at Bieber. Along with your non-refundable deposit, you must turn in 
page 15 of your application packet. So page 15 of your application packet must accompany your deposit. If you'd like to have a larger deposit than $50, we will not turn you down. I wanted to ask all of you, do you have your passport yet? Remember, we decided that as a part of our work through SLA Bieber, A Matter of Expression, and now the Respect Alliance, as a part of our collaboration, we decided that you must be responsible for acquiring your own passport. However, we can help you every step of the way in acquiring this passport. It lasts for 10 years, so it is an investment um, in your life for a 10-year period. And so it, it should not um, feel as if you are just having a passport for this one trip. You can use it for any international trip as well as domestic trips to use as your ID. So please, young people and adult chaperones, please begin to work on acquiring your passports. The next thing that I wanted to talk about was fundraisers. Um, we talked um, briefly about different fundraisers last year, last school year. And now with the beginning of this school year, we need to work on some sort of themed activity by October 6th. October 6th, I have thought to secure the Center City location um, so that we can have a dance or either karaoke night for the young people with a charge, a fee for everyone who enters so that they can raise money um, for their travel. Young people, you do have to do the work um, in order to attend. I also wanted to talk about us having a sneaker fundraiser as well. However, the information packet has not arrived um, in the mail yet to me. So I am waiting on that and more information will be forthcoming. But I'd like for us to do a sneaker drive um, to raise funds for travel. Young people and adults, I wanted to um, remind you to begin working on your self-assessment inventories as well. That those forms are a part of your information packet, your application packet, I'm sorry, and your self-assessment inventory will be due on November 15th no later than November 15th. If you get it done earlier, please feel free to either turn it in hard copy or email it to myself or Samuel Bentoon. And here you see our emails right here. I'm Bonnie Bentoon at bbentoon at slabieber.org and Samuel Bentoon is sbentoon at philasd. Dot org. So I think that's all I wanted to talk to you about with you today, but I also wanted you to see the Respect Alliance's website. Um, my teacher mentor of many years ago, Connie Greer, is the founder and chairwoman of the organization. She has traveled to Ghana. Uh, and helped schools there. And now she has a global program of African stars in Kofurudia, Ghana. So we, Stars Africa, I'm sorry, Connie. So we 
have decided to collaborate so that young people in her program as well as young people at Science Leadership Academy at Bieber can learn about Africa, more specifically Ghana, Africa. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in at whatever time you have done so and I look forward to seeing you in this new school year.